$3 billion that are owed our school districts. This has been adjudicated. This is money that they have been owed over the past that has been taken away from them. They're owed $4.3 billion. And right here in Westchester alone, it is $202 million. Money's owed to the schools that the governor doesn't really believe he has to pay out over time. So what he's proposing is a payment of $428 million this year, and then, uh, then foundation aid would go away. Well, the younger school district is owed $43 million. Fort Chester is owed $26 million. Mount Vernon is owed $20 million. And it's not just high-need school districts. White Plains, Tarrytown, average-need school districts are owed money. Dobbs Ferry, Archley, they're owed money. We need to continue this fight so that public education is fully funded and that $4.3 billion will be paid to our schools. The Assembly, in their one-house budget, proposes more money in foundation aid to the schools and school aid. The Senate does not. No mention is made of the continual payment of the foundation aid. They offer some additional money this year, but no mention of paying it out where the Assembly will phase it in and pay it properly over the next four years. I'd also like to mention to you, in this point in time, our students have incredible needs, and our teachers need to be well prepared to teach them. Our teacher centers that do a marvelous job preparing our teachers to work with students in this day and age, totally eliminated from the budget. Now, about 15 years ago, they received $40 million a year to educate our teachers. These are professionals working in the field who take additional coursework, professional development, so they're better able to educate our students. The budget is totally eliminated. The Assembly restores $14 million. The Senate does not make any mention of it. So we need to continue the fight. Contact your legislators, call your senators, call your assembly people that more money is needed for public education in our state. Thank you very much.